that, right? You saw the lives that have been changed. That's the God that we serve. He tells us to go, to go into the world. He tells us to love our neighbor. Now, I, I live in a big neighborhood. <laughs> right? There's a lot of people in my neighborhood. And so I'm trying to figure out like, you know what? It's just like not even possible for me to be able to connect with every single one of these people, set a day, set a time for me to connect with them. Uh, how could I possibly do that? Halloween night. Yes. On Halloween night, guess what? All of my neighbors come to me. <laughs> So about two to three weeks before, what we do is we decorate the house. We put some string lights out. We put a strobe light out in front of the house, letting all the trick-or-treaters know Halloween night, this is a place to stop. On Halloween night, and we, Kathleen and I have been doing this for years and years and years. On Halloween night, out in the driveway, we put a table out in the front. And we put a table out there, and we got plain sugar cookies. And we got all kinds of different colored uh, frostings. We got all these little sprinkles. And then off to the side, we've got a big screen TV playing with veggie tails or something like that that's happening. And guess what? The kids love it. They love it. They're not just walking up to, you know, an empty house or they're not walking up and getting candy and going. They are so excited to engage into this little crafty project that they're doing. And they're putting the icing on and they're dropping it on the ground and picking it up and eating it. And they're like, they're having so much fun. Or they're sitting there. And what happens is we end up with a line down our driveway of kids. And some of them are watching, some of them are doing this. And guess what Kathleen and I are doing? engaging all the adults. Hey, what's your name? How are you? My name is Joe. I'm so glad that you're here. Man, are you guys having fun tonight? What part of the neighborhood do you live in? And we begin to connect with them. And then guess what else we have? We have a New Life Church invite card. And we hand it to them. We say, hey, I want you to be a part of this. If you're not already plugged in somewhere, I want you to be a part of this. And I cannot begin to tell you the conversations that Kathleen and I have had with our neighbors on Halloween night. Are there kids sitting there watching a cartoon or they're decorating a cookie? Kathleen and I have prayed for people on our driveway on Halloween night. Kathleen and I have done marriage counseling on our driveway on Halloween nights. It's incredible. If you and I will just live since if we'll just find these creative, intentional, purposeful ways to connect with the people that are in our realm of influence and share the love of Jesus Christ, there is nothing more powerful and nothing more needed in their lives. So I'm going to continue to live sent. And my question is to you is, how about you? Will you live your life sent? I believe you will. Let's pray together. Thank you, Lord.